I survived for 100 days in Minecraft Hardcore, but this challenge I had three main goals. Defeat the Ender Dragon, max out full netherite tools and armor, and build a fully powered beacon. And of course, to survive, which was far from easy. Just how powerful could I become in 100 days? Let's go! This looks very nice so far, and some sort of water thing. Let's get some wood. Boom, 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 boom. Now we have stone tools. Let's go look for some food. Okay, it's, it is an ocean. This is perfect. Now, what do we have here? Ooh, treasure. Oish. Bada bang, bada bang. Oi, diamond. And here we have. Oish. Yes. I already think I have enough stuff to like settle down somewhere. Could I live here on top of the world? What a perfect day. Oh, shh. Dang, dang, dang. Yep. You go and hold and you go and hold. Thank you. They don't know what will happen to them. I am definitely gonna invest a lot of time into cake into pumpkins. Oi, rune port. Yeah, what? Whoa, what? This seed is actually incredible. I wanna find a frog and I'm not leaving until I find a frog. What do we have here, guys? Oh my god, it's a frog. Whoa. I am gonna go into that cave I just saw and it just didn't. Yes, I'm just gonna go strip mine then. Yeah, let's go. Diamonds. I can't mine them. Yeah. So many creatures though. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's another guy! Holy moly, that was just a random hole there. Like, what? Yeah, I'm definitely getting my iron, getting these diamonds, and then I'm leaving. Oh my god, he deals a lot of damage. I will be mining down, like, two of these layers here, because this is where I'm gonna build my house. Okay, the farming area is done. What I do want to check out is how close I am to getting an enchanting table. While we are here, I think I'm gonna finish up this portal. Now we can go to the nether whenever we feel like it. <laughs> okay, I understand what you are saying, mate. Please. Oh no! Yes, one is dead. <laughs> that is by far the scariest thing like that's ever happened to me in this game. Just fighting an enderman, he like overpowers me, like destroys me. And then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna jump in the water where I'm safe. Huh? And two trident rounds to start shooting it. I'm gonna do what I actually meant to do. And that is build my enchanting table. Now here goes nothing. This is perfect that I have this biome right here. The boat will just allow me to kill all these guys with no problem. And I get nothing. Oh my god, I am the luckiest bastard in the world. Oh, what a chest. Ooh, yeah. Exactly what I looked for. And yeah. Six. You know what? I'm leaving with nine. Hello, hello. That was such a successful trip to the nether. Let's find a horse. Oh, he's fast. Now let's just go hunt for some villages and leather. Two bones, do I believe? Oh, ho, ho. yeah, there's a village. And now I just go. Let's craft books. Let's craft Bookshelves. Let's get to brewing some weakness potions. Gonna need some brown mushrooms. We're gonna need sand. <laughs> no zombie villager, but we do have 12 ender pearls now. Fermented spider and bang. And now we make them splash. Boom, bada bang. While I'm waiting on all this stuff, I'm gonna build a melon and pumpkin farm. <laughs> Let's go look for a zombie villager. <laughs> Fuck. Oi! Oi, shit, I'm close to death. Looks like we have another night without a villager. Ta-da! Yes! Yes! Okay, that's fine. One, two, one, three. Okay, that was absolutely terrible. I'm gonna do this for 30 minutes. Yes, name tag. Another name tag. Dun, dun, dun. So many names tags. Keep trying to enchant. And we might get lucky. Let's see. Oh! Ho, ho. Let's get uh, some armor. Ready to take down this dragon. Let's start by seeing in which direction we actually have to go. I think it's this way. Oh, what the hell? Oh, take this and this. <gasps> yes! Oi! We found it. Wait, that was a terrible approach. Just snipe. And we got a membrane. Another one. We have slow falling for days now. And we got three. And we got three. That is a potion of slow falling. Now we're gonna extend it. Now let's go defeat the ender dragon. Oh. Uh... Oh. Oh. It's right here. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Boom. Here goes nothing. Boom. He's invisible right now, but I'm hitting him. Oh, he's gone. Final shot! Bang! I missed. Final shot! 
I keep missing. Come on. Oh my god. Ding that. I pray to the Minecraft gods. Give me an end city quickly. Huh? Oh no! What? Oh shit! Ah! That was so fast. And this thing. Let's rate this entire thing now. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> That's one city down. Ah, that was that end city. Hello, hello. Now do we see anything else after this one? Oh, oh my god, I swear to god. Of course, there's one more thing that we need to get. That is dragon egg. Now what goodies did we actually get from all of this? Oh! <gasps> and we have this amazing pickaxe. Amazing shovel. Prod 4, prod 4, blast prod 4. Prod 4 and depth strider. You got all these shulker shields. Now that we got all these goodies, like I'm gonna start working on my... House. I want there to be like an underground part of this space. That is simply because we have this wall where I can put like an open window or something. So without further ado, let's just get digging. Dug out this pretty big space here. Thinking down these hallways, we're gonna have like all my villagers, all my like good stuff. Before we start doing anything else, I actually wanna settle like my experience problem. Let us get four mending books and a good X to make an enderman farm. I'm also gonna bring all of my bookshelves. Cheers, go brrrr. This enderman farm is actually gonna be really, really simple. Letting all of this lava flow down. While we're waiting on that, let's kill all these endermen. That's a lot of pearls. Boom, bada bang. That is the water down. Get at least 128 blocks away from the item. Here we have the spawning platform. This is where I'm gonna kill all the endermen. But I need to find a lot of wool. That is plenty of wool. I place the wool here so the enderman can teleport here. Now this enderman farm should be enderman proof. Now we just have to get an endermite. That was disappointing. I s what? I'm so desperate that I'm gonna get myself some chorus fruit. Yes! Finally we got it. I don't even wanna think about how many stacks of enderpearls I had to throw to get this guy. I definitely did not build this long enough. No one knows. Here they come. Now I get experience. Oish! That was very quick. And... Bing! Now I actually just wanna go build my house. I'm gonna build a quick wood farm. All of the saplings will be dropped into this chest. While it's not, I'm gonna look for another zombie villager. Still couldn't find no zombie villagers. Let's go farm some wood. This is how much wood we have now. So far, this is how it looks. And that is one nice boom. Hello. And from this man, I definitely wanna get unbreaking. Three. Now, how long will it take for me to get unbreaking? I don't want this, but I'm gonna get it just because. One set of wings, and that is two sets of wings. Now, we already got two children trapped. Well, sheep pen, that is awesome to have. Could I actually go look for a desert right now? That is what I am going to do. And a desert and then just mine like a full shelter box of sand. Wait, what? I found a mason before this. And it's another beach. No, it is a desert. Can we find one god apple, guys? No god apple. Wait, no god apple in this chest. That is another pyramid. Oi! Holy shit, we actually found one. <laughs> so we got so much sand now, let's get out of here. So I wanna put a stone brick layer here, and then we're gonna have glass here. So I can actually look at the villager work. Now these guys will just work away and constantly create me new villagers. See if it works. <gasps> okay. Now let's see if this child. Oh, and he's in. Then when he grows, he's gonna reach up here, and then he's gonna go through that, and then bing, bada bang. <gasps> I have a cat. Come here! There we go. I'm gonna do a small border and bring this tower out once again. I am done with the roof. Ta -da! That is house completed. Something that I'm gonna do right now is get to the nether roof. This is gonna be my nether portal. We're not gonna use this portal though, because we need to put this on the nether roof. Now here I should be able to just glitch through the bedrock. And we did it. This contraption will allow me to break the bedrock. So here goes the first attempt. I think it did. Yeah! Yes! Come here, idiot. Yes! I'm gonna find out where my spawn is. We have the portal here at spawn. We're gonna link it up in the nether, go through, and it links up perfectly. I am going to be building an iron farm. The final thing we need is one lava bucket. Now we need to get the villagers in here. We just need one of these guys to grow up. Yes! Yeah! Two in the hole. Go up, idiot! Hi, guys. Hi. Thank you. Subscribe to Jayco. Lava up here. Yeah, now we just place this and the farm is gonna be ready. Oh my god, yes. I will be AFKing here now. Let's see how much we've gotten. 
don't really know what I was, how much I was expecting, but uh, that's definitely good. I want to finish up like doing all of my tools so my axe like can get better, but I need like more lapis. I only have 30 left. Yes, lapis. Look at all these goodies we found. We're gonna build the stronghold pole here in the nether roof. So just going, you know, back and forth will be very, very easy. I'm gonna break this. Then place it down by the portal. Now we do diamond eggs. Bang. That is all of the enchanting I wanted to do right now. Now with this amazing axe, I can do this now. I get the melons and I've instamined it. Here I'm gonna have tons of villagers. We're gonna make this so we're gonna have a zombie behind here that's always gonna be able to like zombify them and then we can cure them and they can get even cheaper and cheaper and cheaper trades. Down here there's just gonna be a zombie ready to eat them all. We definitely do wanna get down here. One man in, two people stuck. Now I trap all villagers. <laughs> Oi, exactly what I'm needing. Boom. This is what it's gonna give me actually stonks. But now the emerald collection will begin. This is also why I want farmers like you can buy golden carrots from these. But I'm thinking maybe my main emerald source will actually be stone cutters. But right now I'm bored of that. For these 100 days end, I actually want to get full netherite armor. And I'm not a peasant, like I'm mining using TNT. You definitely need a creeper farm. So we're gonna be needing lots more blocks. So I'm thinking I have enough stone now. Dug out this huge space, which I have no clue what it's gonna be used for. Let's find a place to build this farm. This video took more than 35 hours to make, so if you're enjoying it, drop a like and subscribe to my channel. I have many insane videos coming that you don't want to miss. Now let's get back to the video. So we place trapdoors on all of these levels, so it's only creepers that can spawn in this farm. Now we got a redstone clock that will push the creepers down into the killing chamber. With the roof done, all I have to do now is fill up all of the spencers with water. I've turned this on. We already have creepers. They will just die here. We are now ready to run the farm. Let's see how much we got. More than a shulker of pure gunpowder. With this we can make so much TNT. But before I do that, I think I'm gonna extend my farm area. Alright, the farm is starting to look like something. But now let's see how much TNT we can make. I'm gonna go mine some more sand. 7 stacks and 14 TNT. Now one thing I really need is just a lot of fire resistance potions. And I can actually see that I need a lot more blaze powder. So here I'm just gonna brew like all of my potions. Bing bada bam. That is one stack of blaze rods. Bing bang bang. Ching chong chang. Okay, we're ready to start the bombing. Oi! First piece. In the tips. Three vein. I just light this TNT on fire and all of the ancient debris will be revealed. I am leaving. Bang. Bang. All of this nice netherite scrap. 52 pieces from one trip. And that is 13 pieces. Before I upgrade all my things, I actually want to make sure that they, they are maximum level. But I can definitely upgrade all of my two pickaxe. Sword, pickaxe number two. This can be better. This can be better. Oh my god, that is exactly what I need. It's very expensive, but that is the perfect helmet. So we can do this sword. All right, it's time to upgrade the last of my items. Sharpness sword, bang. Helmet, bang. Chestplate, bang. Leggings, bang. Boots, bang. Haha, <laughs> we're stacked. We have a bow now that's actually useful. My next objective is actually to get a beacon. I want to get a full powered beacon by the end of this video. And I need a lot of trading for that. It is time to get some more villagers trapped. So again, I somehow managed to not get a single pumpkin villager. So like my trades are just going terrible. I am checking on my iron farm. Okay, it's like so ineffective. It's burned seven iron in like so many days. Okay, it seems to be working again. I'm now gonna grind three wither skeleton skulls so I can actually defeat the wither. Let's find a Good fortress. Oh, I got a skull. Yeah. Number two. Ah, number three. Ching Chong, we're ready to fight the wither. But I will not do it now. We're keeping that for the end of the 100 days. I am gonna start working on my next money making method. Now, all of these villagers are trapped. Let's release the zombie. Hi, idiots. Guess I'm gonna go out and find some clay for these guys. Wait a second, I have a plan. So I see that there's like lush cave right next to my base. I'm just gonna go down here and see if we can find a bunch of clay balls. Exactly what I'm needing. Oh! Now let us trade. It's two emeralds now. I mean two stone for one emerald. I'm actually thinking my next objective should be to raid a bastion because I seriously need more gold. And that's already a bastion. Wait, the gold is right here. Boom! <laughs> see what we get? Boom! 
Oh my god, what is this? How is it dealing so much knockback? Yes, so to be free, I can finally max up my, my thing. Oh, ha. Oh, hello, my friend. Now I have perfect boots. Bing, ching, chong. Let's make money. Oh my god, I have one weed for one emerald. I'm gonna start working on actually making my area look a lot nicer because we did the house, which I think is awesome, but we still have like these things left out here. We gotta finish up the basement. Like this entrance is like so bad. Okay, it's already starting to look a lot better. I think I'm gonna build a simple roof up here. First, we need some wood. While it is night, I'm gonna go look for the swamp that I found and actually go get some slime balls because I'm gonna need this for the build. Oh, there's slime. Yeah, bitch. I'm gonna spend the entire night just farming here, I think. One night we got two stacks and 13 slime balls. We wanna make this clay into terracotta. We're gonna make some slime blocks. We're gonna make some pistons. So here we need something where I press this button, it's gonna turn off this piston and this piston is gonna be pulled away by other pistons. Now if we do this, this is the tricky part. We have to also make this reversible so I can do it the other way around. But let's see if it's actually already working. Here. Oh! <laughs> let's quickly go down and do some trading. <laughs> So nice this thing. I just made this many stacks of emerald in like one day. I think my next step will actually be to move all of my villagers into their respective trading stations. Now we got the trades again. Whoa, there's so many zombie villagers. What? Ah! Oh! Ah! Shit! Whoa, I almost just died. That is why you always wear your goddamn chest plate. I like this design. It's very clean, very easy. Now here comes a tricky part of this build. I want this opening to be like really, really bright wood type. I have to figure out how exactly I'll do it so it looks nice from far away. So this is how it looks right now. And now we have the window in the mountainside. I am tired of building. Now I'm going to beat the wither. What could go wrong? Let's do this. Nice hit, nice hit, nice hit, nice hit, nice hit, and he's dead. We got three with the roses from that. And of course, the nether star. While I have the speed potion, I'm basically gonna do a big brain move like brrrr, a beacon. And this is gonna be my full powered beacon. The beacon is gonna be down in the ground, but the top of the beacon is gonna be right here. Boom. Yes, boys, we did it. So far, this is actually pretty awesome. Dragon egg we place here, heads we place here, here, and here. I think in the last three days, I'm just gonna currently fix up my farms because this, they're so annoying to work with. I'm gonna go make myself an overpowered fishing rod. OP fishing rod time. Let's go fishing. Now what can we get? These are all the things we got from fishing for a day. We got a lot of work done these 100 days. More than I even thought I would. Beacon. Defeated the ender dragon. Full netherite armor. And I cannot wait to see what I'll do for 200 days. But without further ado, let's leave for this last day.